Burst, episode six, taxing. Of course she sends me to do her dirty work. I didn't actually sign up for this, you know. Personal assistant, more like personal slave. And now she's got me breaking the law for her. So what if it's only hacking and, and bribery and barely real laws? I mean, I don't want a criminal record. What will my parents say? But no, parent me, she couldn't possibly do it herself. She might break a nail or something. Well, what about my nails? Still, it's not like I can leave this job. It's safer to be with her than against her, you know? God, I wouldn't want to be against her. Good morning, welcome to Burst Bubble Tea Experts. How may I help? I'm afraid, sir, madam, other title. I urgently need to speak to your manager. Oh, certainly, sir. I shall just be back in a moment. Gia, there's someone to speak to you at the counter. Oh, hi. Can I help you? I sincerely hope you can. I am a junior councillor on the ship's council. We have had worrying reports of unregulated and potentially illegal activity being conducted in or perhaps around these premises. What? What sort of activity? I'm afraid I am not at liberty to disclose that information at this juncture. Oh. Well, investigate away. Everything's in order and we have a five-star hygiene rating. I am just here to, ahem, check things over. This oxygen ventilator, is it up to the standards specified in paragraphs 1 through 4 in the 2134 statutes for a building of this category? Yes. I mean, I believe so. The mechanic assured us when she last visited. Hmm. I suppose it is technically up to code. I hope this white dust in the corner is not indicative of crumbling plaster work. That would certainly be a gross violation of health codes. Oh, Zimri must have just spilled some of our cocaine. I'll just clear it up, sorry. I do beg your pardon. That was obviously just a joke. It's clearly icing sugar. Look, are we done here? No. I'm afraid I'm going to need to perform a full inspection of any and all facilities, even tangentially involved in the preparation or vending of foodstuffs. I need to see your kitchens. Of course, your councillorship. Right this way. Well, I suppose it does seem to be up to code, but one can't be too careful on these matters. <laughs> you never know. All these novel extraterrestrial diseases. Honestly. I'm no biologist, but I'm fairly sure there are enough differences between human and alien biology to stop that sort of thing. Quite right. You are no biologist. Even if these space germs posed a risk to humans, I can assure you we wouldn't have any. I disinfect every surface daily, even the vaguely repulsive skin of the humans. Wait, you do what? <coughs> well, now that the review of your facilities is complete... I'll now need to conduct a full audit of your taxes. If you wouldn't mind, sir, madam, other title. Just follow me through here. Good morning, sir. I'm here on behalf of the station council to inspect this outlet's tax returns. If you wouldn't mind giving me access to those files, I'll just... I believe under section 416, 2 to 10 of this quadrant's tax regulations, you need a permit of rank 5 or above to conduct that kind of review. Do you have that permit, sir? Excuse me, sir. Madam, other title. I'm a junior councillor of this station. I'm afraid I still need to see a permit, junior councillor. Oh, 
So you know my job better than me, do you? Well, do you have a permit, or am I free to carry on with my day? If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear, do you? Now, why don't you show me where you keep those taxes? We keep them online, just like everyone else. You know, you could have emailed. Updated council regulations recommend in-person audits, unfortunately. Might I now be permitted to see those taxes? Yeah, um, they should just be here. I'm waiting. No, they were right here, I swear. But they aren't now, are they? Ben, you have one job. No, I did them, trust me. Tax evasion? Well, I never. It goes without saying that this carries a heavy penalty. This is all a huge misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, just give me two seconds, man. Fortunately for me, I don't have to give you two seconds. You have committed a gross violation of this quadrant's tax regulations. Madam, if you would kindly accompany me to my office. This is stupid, I'm not going with you. Yeah, if anyone should go, it's me. It's my fault. Wait, what? By all means. If anything, the accountant is far more likely to understand the severity of his little misdemeanour. Eh, eh, eh. That boy is so stupid. It was a simple mistake, I'm sure. But why did he go instead of me? I mean, he's not the friendliest person. He's just going to piss off the whole of the station council and get into more trouble. And we're fucked without him. I mean, I can't do taxes. Hey, 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 chill. Just chill out, okay? <sighs> Doesn't it seem odd to you that he just walked into our shop without any reason? Like he was... Like he was specifically looking for a problem. Sure found a problem. No, 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 but that was just luck. Why was he here in the first place? I don't know. He's a junior counsellor. Maybe he was bored. Shouldn't we focus on helping Ben? Yes, we should. Let's go to the station council ourselves and explain that this has all been one big mistake and if they let Ben out, we're sure he'll find them the necessary documentation. Or we can use your alien venom to knock that guy out and then steal back Ben. I am. Um, your idea works too? <laughs> Do you have a conscience? Excuse me? I mean, how do you live with yourself, working for a government who doesn't care about you? They most certainly do care about me. I have a pension, a bicycle through the cycle to work scheme, and I'm permitted to take office stationery home with me. So, not over weekends or bank holidays and not the shop. And how much of that triple locked pension do your employers actually pay? How's your health insurance? A dental? You can't expect the government to pay for everything. That is how you end up with a society full of feckless layabouts. No, that's how you get a society full of happy, healthy people. They have the money, you know. A few people have the power to make sure every single person alive has access to food, water, health care. But they don't. No, they keep it for themselves. And you, <laughs> Your job is difficult, right? Awfully difficult. Dangerous, too. On more than one occasion, I received a paper cut that was, by my estimation, three to five millimetres in depth. And my boss still asks me to make him coffee, which is quite beyond the remit of a junior counsellor. And I bet they still don't pay you that much more than minimum wage. It's shocking. That's the way of the world, I'm afraid, young man. One of these days, you'll understand how it works. Do you have a union? A what? Have you even heard of Karl Marx? Sounds like an extraterrestrial to me. It's not an alien, he's German. He wrote about the capitalist exploitation of the working class and the need for the proletariat to seize the means of production in order to free themselves from the alienation in capitalist society. He certainly wasn't on the reading list for my accountancy degree. Well, why am I not surprised? <laughs> so let's begin your political education with the March of History.
Hi guys. Why are you out here? Nah, he got fed up with me talking, so he told me to wait outside till he'd done the paperwork. <laughs> You're such an idiot. That's fine, we're, we're gonna sort this all out. I'll just talk my way out of it. What, because you're oh, you're so charming? I think Gia means to say we're very worried about you. I can handle myself. You're literally on minority chair. I've got myself out of worse situations. You know, I once got thrown in jail. What happened? Stealing from the rich to give to the poor? No, um, I... <laughs> well, I, I jaywalked, yeah. It still counts! You rebel. A anyway, I got out then and I'll be fine now. I need to just check my computers. I, I know I did all the paperwork and somehow it's all gone. Someone must have messed with my files. Okay, sure, we'll need your password then. Ben? Um, Taylor Swift, one, two, three, uh, capital T. I am not going to laugh. I am not going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the plan? Investigating for suspicious activity. Oh, I can use my eye lasers. <laughs> Your what? Eye lasers. They're mostly used for flambé and creme brûlées back home, but they're, they're perfectly good for seeing things beyond the usual human range. I'll just need to uh, adjust the wavelength to register electrical signals. Wait, really? <laughs> no. Sorry. Just having you on. I can't actually see electricity, but I did just realise that whoever was on this computer didn't delete their internet history. Look. I was about to be so impressed. Sorry, you're telling me this person broke into our shop, used Ben's computer, and then checked their email? Yeah, look, and they did some online shopping while they were here. Oh, to be fair, that is a cute pair of shoes. <sighs> Beth, go back to the email. Well, would you look at that? We need to have a word with a certain junior counsellor. Come in. Oh, good afternoon. I do hope you have something to help rectify the various inadequacies of your accountant. Various. Perhaps those evasive tax returns. No, sadly not. They're there. I, I swear they're there. Oh, it's okay, Ben. We found something even better. Dear Counselor, we have transferred $100 to you in return for investigating the shop Bubble Burst, especially their finances. $100 more for finding any wrongdoing. Regards, SB. How on earth did you get into my emails? None of your business. Now, if you don't release our friend, Beth here will have to forward that email to the entire station council. You don't want that, do you? We will, of course, be keeping a copy of this email, just in case you cause us any future problems. Also, we want that hundred dollars. Well, I do. Now, let our friend go. By all means. He's been nothing but an irritant all morning, carping on about means of production. Aw, oh, shame. I would have loved to have stayed longer. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Counselor. An absolute delight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. And seriously, I recommend the Communist Manifesto. I have heard enough about that book today for two, potentially six lifetimes. His face when I started reading the email. That was rather brilliant. I knew you had it under control, by the way. I was just uh, <laughs> playing along. Sure thing. No, I did. I, I knew something was wrong with him. Minimum wage civil servants don't tend to be quite so fastidious with their jobs. Yeah, true. Plus, you know, you're you. You'd never mess up something like that. This is true. So, who is the person that sent that email? SB? And why are they messing with the shop? Not a clue. Neither. I guess we've made an enemy. That's kind of terrifying. Well, we beat them this time. 
We can do it again. I'm not going down with that fight. Absolutely not. Yeah, okay. We'll be fine. Oh my god, my favourite was when you were like, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. That was so cool. Oh, I know, right? Who knew you were a total badass? <laughs> Excuse me, I knew. Please can we go and make some creme brulee? I am dying to see Zimri's eye lasers at work. You're what? This has been burst, written and directed by Marina McCready. It was performed by Majola Akinyemi, Thomas Rosenberg, Matt Davies, Marina McCready, James Rogers and Katrina Rose. This episode was edited by M. Jones. Want to learn about the capitalist exploitation of the working class and the need for the proletariat to seize the means of production in order to free themselves from the alienation in capitalist society? Like our page on Facebook for updates.